Hello, my name is Kylie, and welcome to Literary Genres Fiction Part 1. Did you know there are over 12 different types of writing? In this video, you'll learn about the first six styles of literature that you can choose to read. Are you ready? Let's go! Before we talk about what fiction is really all about, let's learn how to correctly pronounce the word genre. Is it genre, genre, genre? It can be a little tricky. It is actually pronounced genre. It may seem a little odd, but it is pronounced this way because it comes from the French word spelled and pronounced the same way, genre. In French, it means style or type of something. So, instead of asking, what type of book are you reading, you could ask, what genre is the book you are reading? Pretty fancy, huh? You may already know that the things you read can be grouped into two main categories. Things that are true or factual, and things that are made up in someone's imagination. One way to remember which is which is to think that since fiction is made up, nonfiction is not made up. The non in the word can remind you of the word not. Some people also like to think of the word that fiction comes from, fictitious. Fictitious means not real, not true, made up in one's mind. So to be clear, fiction is made up and nonfiction is made up of facts and claims to be true. There are many types of both fiction and nonfiction. More types, get it? More types, typewriter, typing. I know, I know, but we can classify types of things we read into more categories than just fiction and nonfiction. In this video, we will concentrate on fiction. To learn more about nonfiction, check out our video, Literary Genres, Nonfiction. Again, let's just focus on types of fiction in this video. There are several interesting types of fiction reading. There's realistic fiction, fantasy fiction, science fiction, tall tale, myth, fable, folk tale, fairy tale, mystery, historical fiction, drama, and poetry. Let's learn a little bit more about each of the first six, and then when you're ready for more, make sure to watch part two of this video series. Okay, so realistic fiction is one of the most common types of fiction written. The story is made up, but everything in the story could actually happen. So in realistic fiction, there are no flying lizard monkeys or talking animals. What makes this type of fiction so popular is that it is easier for us, the readers, to imagine the story by putting ourselves into the plot. The plot is the action or what happens in the story. So if you're thinking of writing a story about a boy or a girl just like you or a person, who would be writing realistic fiction? If you'd like to read something from this genre, Ivy Takes Care by Rosemary Wells and Baseball in April and Other Stories by Gary Soto and Black Beauty by Anna Sewell and all of those are really great reads. Both fantasy fiction and science fiction are a lot alike. They're both entirely made of fake or made up places, things, and beings that are not part of our real world. Fantasy fiction often has people, animals, or creatures that have magical powers. Science fiction may also have made up creatures, but these stories can happen in the past or future and often have machines or robots or technology that hasn't been invented yet. There are so many great examples of fantasy and science fiction stories. Many of these stories are made into great movies, but the books 
seem to always be better. These stories are often written in series, meaning the author has written more than one book following the same characters and events, evolving the story or the plot. A very popular fantasy fiction series is, of course, the series The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Others include The Jungle Book by Rudyard Kipling, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. If you like stories about amazing inventions and crazy science laboratories, you may like the science fiction book Danny Dunn and the Anti-Gravity Paint by Jay Williams. Tall tales are some of the funniest and entertaining stories to read aloud with friends. Tall tales are humorous or funny stories that have the main character do superhuman, amazing, impossible things. Imagine being able to pick up your entire house, cry so much your tears make a river, or laugh so hard you can cause an earthquake. Most cultures from around the world have their own tall tales. Some famous American tall tales are The Tale of Paul Bunyan and The Tale of Pecco's Bill. Myths are traditional stories that were originally told aloud to explain a culture's belief. These stories often had gods, goddesses, and mythical beings in them. Mythical beings are made up and don't exist in the real world that we know of yet. Do you notice there are a lot of dragons, unicorns, and trolls on products today? Well, they all got their start as characters in ancient myths. Some of these characters were talked about in myths thousands and thousands of years ago, and yet we are still talking about them today. Talk about having staying power. Roman and Greek myths are often read and talked about today. Some of the characters in these myths are ones that you may have already heard of. Zeus, Hercules, the Minotaur, or Athena. Fables are stories told by people to teach lessons to younger people and often have a lot of talking animals in them. They were originally only told aloud and not written down. Over the years, when books became more available, People wrote them down so they could be read over and over again. Aesop was a famous storyteller in ancient Greece. He told a lot of stories designed to teach young people life lessons called morals. It can be fun to figure out the moral of a fable. Today you can check out books filled with these fables. Many times the fables were told without telling what the lesson really was. Can you tell what Aesop's lesson is in this famous fable, The Fox and the Crow? You see, the fox really wants a piece of cheese the crow is eating. So he tells the crow how handsome and how smart he is. Then the fox tells the crow he doesn't believe the crow has the best song in the forest, as everyone claims. The crow decides to sing to show the fox he does have the best voice but he opens his beak to sing, the cheese drops into the hungry fox's mouth. So, what do you think the crow learned? The crow learned that you shouldn't worry about what other people think and try to prove you are good at something. Doing so, the crow lost his tasty cheese. I bet he learned his lesson. Now we've covered the first six types of fiction that you can read and write. Which one is your favorite? Do you like any of the titles mentioned in this video? You can check them out at your local library. And for even more types of fiction writing, make sure to watch part two of this video series. If you are interested in books and writing that is true or factual information, watch our video Literary Genre Nonfiction. To practice what you've learned, be sure to play our fun online games and quizzes. Until next time, always remember to be clever. Hey, hey.